So, oh, there's Ruth. Hello, Ruth. How are you tonight? Fine, fine. Good night. Fine. Excellent. So, tell me, Erica, how's the weather? It's raining today. Is it raining right now? Yes. Oh, that's nice. No, not right now, but in the afternoon. So, it's fresh. Yes, it's very fresh. Oh, that's excellent. Very excellent. Francisco, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. How about you, teacher? I'm just fine, thank you. Ready to start our class. Oh. Mr. Fuentes, good. good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And right. you? I'm just fine, thank you. So let's see. Oh, there's Rosario. Rosario, hello. How are you? But she's connecting to the audio right now. Let's see, there's six of us. Teacher, one question. Yes, tell me. Um, con lo, respecto al curso. Eh, okay, yes. yes. No problem, no problem. That's why we are here. Uh, what about the platform? Have you finished? Rosario finished already. Erika, did you finish? Yes, yes finish. Yeah, I finished. What about you, Ruth? Finish. Okay, Cesar. Hello, good evening, Cesar. Good, good evening. I'm not finished yet. Sorry. Oh. Uh, you have until Friday to finish. Okay, okay, don't worry, I, I do it. Remember, any question you can ask me, okay? I can help you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. No problem, no problem. Okay, so let's see. Well, we're going to start because it's time already. I think the rest is, are going to connect soon. Just let me text them so they know that the class started already. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. I'm texting the group. Okay. Well, let's continue. So today we are going to have something very interesting and a little bit <laughs> complex. So I will like you to be like focused because the topic is is wide and very interesting as I tell you. So we're going to enjoy the class. Let me see. Today we're going to talk about quantifiers. The quantifiers are simple words that help us to uh, communicate. And they help us to like to measure some things, but in a different way. I mean, you are not counting like one, two, three, four. When we use quantifiers, we are expressing like the amount. Like, uh, okay, if you look to this glass, it yes. has, you see the level of the water is right here. It has some water. You see? Some water because it's almost at the middle. I'm sorry. Now, it just has a little. You see, the measure changes. If it were full, it would be a lot of water. Like uh, these past days, do you remember the big storms? Okay, a lot of rain fell in El Salvador during the storms, a lot of rain, a big quantity. So when we use quantifiers, we refer exactly to that. If you remember from the platform, uh, we have we have there the explanation of the quantifiers. Did you check it? We are going yes. to- Yes. We are going to yes. refer 
a little bit of that. Okay, we don't usually go directly to the platform, but we are going to do it right now. Okay, can you see it? Yes. We have all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. Okay? So, yes. let's listen. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what is the problem right now. Hold on just a second. Okay, I need it like this. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on just a second, guys. I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, my mistake. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to focus. Yes. Can you see the picture? Yes. 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 Now. What I want you to focus on is not in the pronunciation because this is simple. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. So when we talk about quantifiers, if you see, we are talking about the percentage. Okay? All means a hundred percent. Whereas when we say no, no one, we are talking about zero percent. When we say some, we are talking around the 50 percent. Remember that these terms are relative because they depend on the context. It's similar that when we talk about the albers of frequency, do you remember the albers of frequency? Always almost yes. all, sometimes okay this is very similar when we talk about all we are talking a hundred percent but when we talk about many it could be 60 70 80 percent and this just depends on the context so it's not just uh, that some is always going to be 50 percent it can vary according to the context, according to the conversation. But they are used when we are not being specific about the quantity, okay? Like I say, uh, you know what? Lately, I get headaches all the time. Listen to the sentence. Lately, I get headaches, headaches, all the time okay but it doesn't mean that the 24 hours of the day i am with a headache it means that it is very regular so depending on the context you can use them because we say that all means a hundred percent but i say all the time uh, i am having problems with connections all the time but right now I'm having connection. So it depends, it varies according to the context, according to the conversation, okay? Be always sure to notice that. Now, we are going to see another part of the explanation of the quantifiers, okay? Let's see, we are going to work first with this. Okay, quantifiers. 
small quantity, large quantity. We use a little or a few when we are talking about a small quantity. And a little is used with uncountable nouns. Do you remember the water? A little water. A few, it is used with plural countable nouns. There are a few books. They can be counted. One, two, three, four, five books. Okay? So a few is used with plural countable nouns. Meanwhile, a little is used with uncountable nouns. There is a little water. Uh, if I ask you, like, uh, if I invite you for a cup of coffee and I ask you, do you want some sugar? You can tell me, yes, just a little, because sugar is uncountable. Okay? Now, with a large quantity, we can use a lot of. A lot of is used with uncountable and countable. Okay, so there is a lot of water or there are a lot of books. In this case, the water cannot be counted. Water by itself cannot be counted, but books, they can be. So in this case, when we say books, we are talking about plural countable nouns. So we got to be careful with that. Okay, look, a little, a little milk, a lot of milk. We cannot say a few milk because few it's used with countable nouns. In this case, what we must use is a little. Okay, and a lot can be used with uncountable. Now look, a few carrots. Yes, we can count them. One, two, three carrots. It's just a few. But look, a lot of carrots because there are many. Look at this. We can say a lot of berries and a few or a little juice? A little. A little. A little, yes, exactly, because few is used for countable. Sorry, it's simple, no? It's getting simple. Hey, there's Jonathan and Ernesto. Okay, so. Now we are going to see a little bit uh, i'm going to go with explanation from the small to the bigger part okay remember let's make a review we are saying that we use a few and a little when we talk about a few we use it with uncountable or countable remind me countable Countable. Count, countable. Countable. And a little? Uncountable. 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 Perfect. So when we say, uh, imagine that I ask Luis, Luis, do you like, would you like some water? And he says, oh, yes. I like little water. Okay, perfect. I like a little water. A little, a little quantity a little. of water. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, I, it's like if I tell you, oh man, I have a lot of problems. Problems, can they be counted? Yeah, they can be counted. When I say a lot of problems, oh, I have many problems. Uh, you know what? All along the day, we need to drink, we need to be drinking nowadays a lot of water. 
So we are talking about a big quantity of water. Are we clear up to here? Yes. Yes? Great. No questions? No? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Perfect. Let's see, guys. Now I'm going to share something. Just give me a Okay, let me see where I'm going to share with you a bigger explanation, okay? Okay, now, can you see this image? Yes, teacher. Okay, we have here some, any, much, many, a lot, yes. a few, a little, okay? Some and any are used before plural nouns and uncountable nouns to talk about an indefinite quantity. Some letters, some money, any letters, any money. Some is used in affirmative sentences. There are some letters for you. I've got some money. Some is used in questions when we want to encourage people to say yes. For example, in request and offer. Can you let me have some paper? Would you like some more tea? Have you got some paper I could have, please? So these are like the beginning of the rules, okay? I'm going to share this image with you. Now, in the case of any, any is used in negative and question form, okay? Let me minimize a little bit. Okay, because I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to share it with you guys. <laughs> Okay, I am sharing in the group part of this information. Okay. So you can have it and you can save it. Did you check it? Yes. Yes, okay. So I will make it bigger again. Okay, I was telling you that any is using negative and question form. There are, are there any new stories in your store? Is there any tea in the cupboard? I don't have any new stories for you. There isn't any tea in the cupboard. Any is used afterwards with negative meaning, such as without, never, seldom, rarely, hardly, okay? We have to be very, very careful with this. Remember, any is used with, neg with negative sentences or with words with negative meaning, okay? Okay. Okay, let me see. So, in this case, let's see. In the case of mosh and many, we use mosh and many mostly in questions and negative. Mosh is used with uncountable nouns and many is used with countable plural nouns. Is there much rice left? We haven't got much rice left. Has he got many books? He hasn't got 
many books. Note, we often use much and many in affirmative sentences after to, as, so, and very. Take as much milk as you want. As much as you want. This, as much as, tanto como. I have got so many jobs to do today. Tantos. We are meaning muchos. We enjoy the party very much. We have got too much. In this case, too much. Demasiado. Okay, let me see. I'm sorry. I'm going to mute somebody because there was a lot of background noise. Okay, now, as you can see, in this case, when we say too much, we are saying demasiado. In affirmative sentences, we normally use a lot, lots of, and plenty of. Plenty of, suficiente. Not much and many. Okay, we use a lot of, lots of, and plenty of with both uncountable nouns and plural nouns. Okay, this is a little bit uh, complicated to be like checking. Little and few without A are more negative idea. Little means no much or almost no. Few means not many or almost no. There is little work to do. In this case, remember, there's a difference between little and a little. When we say little without the A, it's negative. Okay? So we say there is little work to do, almost no work to do. The exam is extremely difficult and few students passed it. That's still a negative idea. But we use little to express positive idea with uncountable nouns because it means a small amount. There is still a little work to do. I have a little sugar in the jar. So if you see with the A, with the letter A, it's positive. Without the A, it's negative. So in this case, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a little bit different, okay? Right? Or too complex. Too complex. So so. A little, <laughs> a little complex. Okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. A little. <laughs> okay. No problem. We are going to make it simpler for everybody because I understand this topic is not quite simple. Okay. So let's see. Um, just give me a second. Okay. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I have a lot of pens and markers. That's countable, plural, okay? Pens and markers, a lot, okay? Now, I have a little, a little water. A little, it's positive because there is still some. Todavía hay un poco. That's positive. Okay. Uh, but when it is negative, when we say, oh, there's little work right now in the company. So some people is not working. That's bad because some people are not receiving payment. So when we say there's little work to do, that's negative. But when I say there's a little work to do still, 
oh, that's positive because it means that the people still have the opportunity to work, okay? Now, we say, uh, I don't have, I don't have any water left. My cup is empty, there's no water. So, I don't have any water left. I cannot say I don't have nothing because that could be a double negation, don't and nothing. Now, remember, you use any with negative sentences. And if you remember, also it is used when we are using words with a negative meaning like without, never, okay? Uh, seldom, rarely, hardly. Remember, without, sin, never, nunca. Seldom, rara vez, hardly, mm, difícilmente o casi nunca. Those words, they have a negative meaning. So when we have words with a negative meaning, we use any. Because if I say, uh, like in the example that we were seeing, you never do nothing homework. That is not correct because it's a double negation. There are hardly nothing X left. Double negation. Okay, there are hardly no X left, double negation, because hardly is negative. I found a taxi without no trouble, double negation, because without is negative, okay? Remember also, uh, we use little, few, when we are, when the meaning is not much or almost no. Like in the example that I was telling you, oh, I have, uh, there, is, there is little work to do. So in that example, if you remember, the meaning was very few, but negative. It's different when you say a few than few, okay? If you just say the word few, it's negative. If you say a few or a little, it's positive. The letter A at the beginning, that's like the key, the mandatory. If we have the letter A before few or little, it's positive. But if we just have the word few or little, it's negative, okay? Like, uh, I asked Luis, Luis, uh, what do you think of the class? And Luis tells me, um, few ideas were clear for me. So that's bad because he says, few ideas were clear for me. It means that not many. It means just a small quantity and it's negative because he wants to understand the whole class. Okay, but if he says, oh, just a few points I didn't understand. Oh, it means that he understood almost the whole class, just a few points he could not understand. You get the difference? It's like, uh, let's see, uh, Francisco, there's Francisco and Francisco tells me, oh, he was telling me the other day that, uh, few girls could say no to him. He was very lucky with girls when he was in high school. So it was positive or negative? He tells me. He's negative uh, ah. because few is negative. He, uh, the mandatory A uh, for positive. Okay. So if, Lu if Francisco tells me, a few girls 
told me no when I was in high school. Oh, that's positive because he was lucky with the girls. You see? Yeah. Okay. So it's like uh, Cesar. Cesar tells me, he was telling me the other day that he has a lot of work. He was even preparing a report at night, if I'm not mistaken. Cesar? Yeah. Is that true? yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. He told me that he had a lot of work. And then I come and I ask him, Cesar, was everything perfect in your report? And he tells me, oh, yes, just a few points to fix. Positive or negative, Cesar? Positive, a few. Positive, because I said a few, okay? Yes. Excellent. Now, what about if Cesar tells me, oh, teacher, you know what? few points were correct negative negative he's in problems yeah. you see the difference okay up to here how are we doing are we getting it teacher yes. tell me esta esta quantifies eh, cambian, van de primero. Eh, en la oración normal es el sujeto. En este caso serían los quantifieds. Remember, just the ones that I, just the ones that appear in the platform, yes. Yes. The ones that you saw in the platform, yes. They go at the beginning. Those quantifiers go right at the beginning. Okay? okay. Not all of them go at the beginning because we were talking about a few uh we were talking about a lot many okay so okay. not all of them go at the beginning but the ones that you saw in the platform yes they can be used as part of the subject uh -huh. okay? okay now guys remember i will send you extra material for you to practice okay yes teacher so yeah. If everything is okay, uh, I will see you tomorrow. Be early, be there. Remember, we are going to make a small review of the whole classes. Okay? Okay. 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 Thank you, guys. Good evening. Thank you. Take care. Good evening. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Rest.